is the Chrissy Swan Show. Let's go click in. Chrissy's clickbait. We're going to get to an unbelievable story and probably everyone's worst nightmare. But first, let's talk about Kelly Osborne. Love the Osbournes. Love Kelly. I wonder where, because you can find anything these days to watch that's very old. Where would I find the original reality series, The Osbournes? That is a great question because I've never seen it, Swanee. Oh, you would. It's the OG. I really don't think there was one before yeah, that. I really should go back and watch it. I don't know where you'd find it. I'm sure on YouTube people would have ripped it and uploaded it. Uploaded it. If you know, slide into our DMs at the Chrissy Swan Show. Yeah, I just saw a little uh, caption there that said I watched series three and four on YouTube. So okay. maybe they're all there. It's definitely worth a watch. Anyway, Kelly Osborne is hoping for what I call a Keith Richards. <laughs> now, Keith Richards is the 700-year-old dinosaur yeah. from the Rolling Stones that is fit as a fiddle. Yeah. So healthy and yet is quite famous for having done every illicit drug in the book and a lot of them. And there seems to be this kind of theory that if you do... Too many, you'll die. But if you do way too many, something magical happens if you're lucky and you are completely embalmed. Invincible. And you will live forever. And Kelly Osborne is hoping that the years of her, I'm going to say experimentation, have embalmed her from getting any sort of serious illness. Yeah, right. So watch this space. Love that for her. I mean, she does look extraordinarily well. It might have worked. Yeah. I hope so. What about this for a headline? <laughs> and this is like everyone's worst night. Well, it's my worst nightmare. 74 year old woman pronounced dead. I mean, that's bad news. Sad. And too young, I would say, in your 70s. I agree. She was pronounced dead, but then found breathing in a funeral home. What? So I wasn't, it w- wasn't that long ago that I asked someone the question what happens when you die? Like, what, what are the steps? I didn't know what happened. Apparently, you know, someone comes and gets you and takes you to the funeral home. I thought the funeral home was just like a party planner. Yeah, I thought that you went there for the event. You were transferred there for the event. No, that's where you go. There's a big fridge. And you're just hanging out there. Yes. Should we listen to this police report? Yes. At 11.45 a.m. LPD were dispatched to a funeral home on a medical emergency. Employee was placing constant glance onto a table to start their process and an employee noticed that she was breathing. Ah. They instantly called 911 and she was taken to a local hospital and is still alive. Um, did you hear that? She was starting the process. That means that they would have been about to like... You shove stuff down her yeah. mouth and stuff. Yeah. <gasps> also, like, next time she dies and they have her funeral, as her family and friends, you'd be like, mm, how's she? You'd have to double check, wouldn't you? You know why 11.45 was the time that she started to stir? Why? Cup of tea and biscuit time. (laughs) The Chrissy Swan Show. Let's go clicking. Chrissy's Clickbait. I love Rihanna. She's been working on an album. I can't wait to hear it. Are we ever going to hear it, though? I feel like she's just saying that to, like, appease fans. I feel my spidey senses that she's going to have another baby before we get an album. I'm just saying. No. I mean, I'm happy for her, but, like, I want new music. I know, but also, you forget, she's got two babies about less than a year apart, so her hands are full. Plus, she's got this unbelievable music career. She's also a makeup billionaire. Yeah, that's she's, right. So she's got her own makeup label called Fenty, and it's just been announced that she's going into Fenty hair. Hair products are the next big thing, did you realise? I did not realise, but as Priceline Queen, I trust you. Massive at Priceline. So many incredible things you can get for hair. And it doesn't matter what sort of hair that you've got. And Rihanna knows this. She's got stuff for straight hair, curly hair, frizzy hair, everything. Even dudes, I think I saw. Correct. Mate, she's not coming out with new music. She's not. Do you know what her company's worth? What? $2.8 billion. Far out. Billion. I mean, I see why we haven't had new music. we got to get into that sweet, sweet hair product money, Jack. Now, here is a very interesting clickbait for anybody that sort of grew up in the 80s or 90s or early 2000s, which is definitely me. So there's a genre called trip hop, 
And one of the biggest component, um, like people that behind that was Massive Attack. They had this huge album, a couple of huge albums, but specifically they had this album Mezzanine in 1998 and it was so cool and we had our dark lipstick and our <laughs> hair and, you know, we just really loved her. Listen to it on our CD players, right? This is Teardrop. I love this. Trip hop is a great genre. You would love it. Yeah. You would really love it. Like more Chiba, Porter's Head, you would love it. Okay. Get into it. Anyway, that song was massive and there is a story about it because four years before this album, everybody was listening to Grace by Jeff Buckley and then he suddenly passed away and it was so shocking and awful. His girlfriend was Elizabeth Fraser who sings that song, this bit. It's beautiful. And I always would hear it. Even back then, and I thought, is it like an instrument singing that or is it a woman's voice? Turns out there is a story and here it is. It was on the same day that she found out that Jeff Buckley, who was her former lover, boyfriend, partner, he had died. And she's in the studio to record the vocals for this. And she had pulled out letters from him and just really felt his presence there and missing him and and says to this day that that song, that the words that she's singing and had kind of customized to what she was going through in that moment really do represent him. There you go. It explains the magic in wow. that song. I'm going to go home and listen to that album on the drive home from Massive Attack. You will Attack. love it. I can't. And also Tricky Max and Quay. That is my favourite album of all time, even more than um, Taylor. Text me a link then. Now check this out. The Chrissy Swan Show is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.